Hey guys, what's going on? I thought it would be fun to make a quick video and show you my home office setup in all its glamour, okay? So for those of you that don't know, right now I live in Sierra Leone, West Africa. Chances are you probably have never heard of the country unless you've seen the movie Blood Diamond. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, shout out to Leo. Um, but yeah, let me just show you guys my office setup. And the reason why I wanna show you, number one, is I think it's interesting sometimes to see people's little setups. Number two is I'm gonna tell you a story about one of my students and how he thought that his office setup was losing him deals, okay? So let me show you this first and, and get ready because it's pretty glamorous. By the way, I'm in my master bedroom right now. The view is unreal, right? This is the view from my bed, crazy. Um, however, here's my setup, okay? This humble, <laughs> this humble little desk, okay? By the way, I had this desk made uh, a friend of mine, he does um, woodworking and stuff like that. So I had to make this desk uh, and that's it. It's just a desk. I bought this office chair here, which is actually a pretty nice office chair. Brought my computer and that's it. I have some, some papers. This has a story to it. I, I rented a vehicle of mine to a mining company that absolutely trashed the car and I didn't keep good tabs on it. And so it was my fault. So this is like a constant reminder that you need to, if you're going to assign something, if you're going to do something, Make sure that you keep tabs on it. Make sure that you have people in place, systems in place, whatever, to make sure that you don't get robbed blind and I really got taken. So this is a, a light that they fixed on the top of my vehicle because this was rented to a mining company out in this little village. And uh, yeah, so that's there. That's it, this is my setup, okay? This is my setup. This is where I run a multi, multi, multi-million dollar company from this silly little setup, okay? Now let me sit down and tell you the whole moral of this story. What a backdrop, right? We got this fancy curtain here. Um, many of you have seen my videos. Maybe I can put this down so you guys don't have to have me all shaky Steve on you. Maybe, let me see. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, long story short, guys, the whole point of this is I wanted to mention, I remember I had this student and he's still a student, but I had this uh, student and he told me he said, you know what, Nick, when I used to see your videos, I would see uh, you were having success and I would see these videos you were sharing in these other groups. And, you know, he's like, this sounds so silly, but I, because I always talk about this, right? Everybody has their yeah, but yeah, Nick's doing X, Y, Z, Nick's doing this amount of money, Nick's doing 20,000 a month, Nick's doing 100,000 a month, but I have this thing and it's the reason I'm not going to be able to do that amount of money, right? Or yeah, Nick's doing it, but he has sales experience. I don't. Nick's that whatever, right? Everyone has a yeah, but. And so um, his yeah, but, basically his excuse, his objection was that he didn't have a nice background. He didn't have a nice backdrop. He just had like a wall, not like this, a way nicer wall than this. And so he said to me, he's like, I thought that I could never get to a certain amount of money because I didn't have a nice backdrop because I saw you and you had your bookshelf. Some of you guys have seen my videos in my house in the U.S., and so I just want to show you guys, this is it. This is, I, I'm in my master bedroom in uh, uh, the apartment that I'm in, in Freetown, Sierra Leone. I've got a curtain. I got my fiber line here. It, it, guys, um, the thing that's interesting is, you know, can those things help? Yeah. Can they create a nice uh, image? Yes. And I'm not saying that you should purposely try to look, you know, like you're broke or purposely look like, but like, this is the situation, right? This is, this is what it is. Like this is Africa. This is where I'm living. And so I don't think that you should necessarily try to make it look like a certain way, but, um, I don't think it's bad. But what I want to say is that you can, you don't have to worry about these type of things if you provide results in advance. And that's the truth because at the end of the day, as long as the business owner that you're working with is getting leads, is getting, and, and those leads are converting into customers, they are going to work with you. And so that's why we send leads in advance. We say, hey, let me just send these to you. Why don't you test it, try it, smell it, feel it, and then we can talk, okay? And if you do that up front, all of the other stuff is irrelevant. That's it. They're, they're not going to care what your backdrop looks like, what you drive, what your team looks like. At the end of the day, if they're making money, that's what matters. And so a lot of times what happens is people, they don't want to put in the effort up front. They don't want to do the value, in it, the, the results in advance, the value first. And they want to go and close the deal. And I'll tell you, if I'm just calling you out of nowhere 
And I'm like, hey, let's hop on a Zoom. I'm going to try and close you. This might be a little bit more of a tough sell because I'm sitting here going, hey, look, um, you know, this is, I'm supposed to be crushing it. I'm supposed to be this, you know, whatever. That might be more of a sticking point. But when you're providing results in advance, it doesn't matter. Who cares that I, <laughs> who cares what my setup looks like? Who cares that I'm in my mom's basement? Who cares that my team looks like this or that I'm, you know, some people are like, oh, I'm only this age. I'm only 18. I'm only 19. Guess what? That's not a problem because you are providing results in advance. So guys, again, this is my janky little setup. I love it. It's simple. I have a computer. I have some, some, I could probably get rid of half these papers. I've got my light that reminds me to don't be an idiot. And it is very refreshing. It's kind of that minimalism type of feel right now. And I, I just sit there. I, have my, I just have my notebook, my laptop, and I'm just, I'm working on the business. I'm trying to create, you know, the best service possible in my lead generation agency, my digital real estate business, as well as in my program and digital uh, landlords. I'm trying to make the, the, uh, the best program to make money on the entire internet. And so um, don't worry about your setup. If you're someone that has to work at a coffee shop because you live in a tiny little place in, the, in a dorm with your buddies, who cares? That's completely fine. Or you're somebody that's, heaven forbid, has to live at their parents' house because you're trying to get back on your feet. Who cares? I have one of my students that lives or did live in, in his parents' garage because, uh, well, he worked in his parents' garage and lived in an RV outside of their house because his house burned down. But guess what? The guy got to, I think, ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 per month um, because he was providing results. So don't, guys, focus on the result. Focus on getting your clients results. Focus on having the best service out there. And again, this doesn't mean that you should try to make it look like you're freaking broke as a joke. Um, but in my situation right now, this is it. This is where I'm at and, and I'm loving every second of it. And so um, that that is that is the message. That is what I'm here to tell you guys. Stop stressing. It doesn't matter near as much as you think, but provide the results in advance and all of these things are secondary. I'm out.